Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Dog, the, of Dog and Scissors Episode 2. So, this episode was actually surprisingly superior to the first episode. And I'm going to explain why. Basically, the brief synopsis of this episode goes along the lines of, um... Hold on a sec. Forgot their names already. Did I find the page I will remember? Um... Forgot. Where is it? Fuck. Um... Okay. So I have to bring it up then. Alright, okay, here we are. Kaz Kazuhito Harumi and Kirihime Natsuo. Kazuhito being the main character, obviously. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, but basically, they head over to uh, Kazuhito's old, apart old apartment that he lived in by himself um, until he was killed, basically. As long as he helped manage the place, the, the owners, so I guess knew him well or something, let him stay there for free. But he didn't, of, co of course, didn't tell his parents that, or else they'd send him, send him less money, and he'd have less money to buy, keep buying books, basically. And they head over there be because um, somehow uh, Natsuo knew that the guy who killed him was staying in his apartment, I, or in the rather in the. Uh, Apartment 102, which was the apartment that had um, all those that, that he stored his books, and he lived in apartment 101. All right, and when they find him, they chase him down, and there's actually a pretty cool fight scene between um, Natsuo and the killer, who they never name. Um, I I just really wished that. Kazuhiko, the dog, would stop narrating the fucking fight. It kind of takes me out of it a little bit. But it was a pretty cool fight scene, though. Yeah, again, another anime that has fight scene that has the, the person with fighting in this fight scene using a pair of scissors. That person, of course, being not too old. Now, with one really cool thing here is there's two techniques that he actually uses in the fight, which... Uh, Natsuo wrote in her uh, series of books that somehow this guy was able to bring into reality. I don't know. One of them actually allows him to tap his feet on the ground and actually use the sonic vibrations from that to hypnotize people. And the other one actually allows him to dislocate his joints so he's a lot more flexible than a normal person. So they're actually pretty cool. Alright. Um... Yeah, and of course Natsuo wins the fight in the end, and then he acts actually hanging over the ledge by the, um, hanging over the ledge about to fall in the water, and Natsuo tries to convince Kazuhito to push him over for revenge for killing him previously, but he refuses. He actually put pulls him backward, and then something wee strange happens. 
this series actually got surprisingly deep surprisingly quickly because um, then Natsuo says that she'll kill him instead for revenge because she blamed herself for uh, Kazuhito's or yeah Kazuhito's death all right and she questioned you know why did Kazuhito save her and blah 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 so it actually got surprisingly deep surprisingly quickly and I l think that's a positive and a negative I like it that started to actually get really deep but I think it was kind of a sudden shift so in that sense I don't like it but overall I think it was kind of nice though <sighs> and you know once that ordeal's all over they start walking home when it gets dark we once again see that uh, Natsuo has a kind of an odd fetish, I guess you would say, with cutting things. And cutting flesh as well. Let's just leave it at that. But, anyways. Uh, two more things, or actually three more things I want to mention about this episode is that towards the beginning we had uh, like this pop singer or whatever um, conf tra confronting Natsuo and Natsuo just passed her by. She seems to be very stuck up and selfish right now. I'm wondering if she might play a part Eh, in the f future of the series, I don't know, but I think do think that just in case she is kind of worth mentioning. And also, there was um, towards the end of the episode, there was this strange blue-haired girl, um, and I, I I'd imagine she play a part in the future of the series, or else why would they show her there randomly? And also, the very last scene of the episode is this strange uh, yellow-haired girl, and again. You know, I'd imagine that she would play a pretty big part in the future of the series, or else why would the fuck would they show her just in a random scene like that, you know? So I really hope those two characters, at least, do play a bigger part. Because in terms of the pop singer, you know, we've previously seen Natsuo, or, uh, well, Natsuo wasn't really watching, I don't think, but uh, Kazuhito was, um, on TV. Alright. I, and but until and until it was she was shown again on TV later on in the episode, I didn't even, I didn't even recognize her. I didn't even remember. So yeah. But anyways, overall, this episode that's pretty much all that happened in this episode. And this episode was really good. I do like the comedy in this series. It's not the greatest, but it is getting better. Um, there's of course more comedy in this episode. Comedy in this episode with uh, Kazuhiko making fun of. Not so small breasts. It's stuff shit you see in anime all the time, so I'm not really too interested in it anymore. I've kind of matured out of. Well, okay. Oh, yeah, I've matured, yeah, right. But I just. I don't know. I just wasn't a huge fan of it. But overall, this episode was pretty good, though. It's getting better. The, the first episode was kind of mad, but it's definitely getting better, so I'll give it that. And if the end of this episode ha is any. Thing to go by, I'd say that the series just might get pretty deep. I kind of hope that it does because the premise doesn't seem like something that would get too deep, but who knows, it might. And I'm kind of hoping that it does. So, yeah, but overall, good episode, as I said before. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.